Rahu Bet Hotep. What up, everybody? Unknown is Sue here. I'm black guy like a crack at it. Let's talk about it. So in this video, we're going to discuss supplementations that I'm taking during the lockdown, during this quarantine. If you're looking to gain some muscle and look like this, or if you're looking to lose weight, this is a, this is a channel for you, or you're looking for something to help with your immune system. So with the COVID going on, I think people are missing the main thing of this, uh, and that is the immune system. So the, everything I'm taking is going to help with the immune system, also help build my muscle to, to work towards my goals, or for you to lose, your, lose weight if you want to. Um, so in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to discuss it. each product I use. I'm not going to go into crazy, uh, crazy detail about what it does. I'm going to say that for a later video. So I'm just going to show it and tell you how much it costs, when I take it, and uh, also give a little insight about why I take it. So with that being said, let's get into it. Let's start off with the protein. Let's talk about with the protein. So protein, the building blocks of making gains. We all know this. Everybody knows everything about it. Protein. Um, so I bought this at Grocery Alley for thirty dollars. I'm not super picky about my protein. I just make sure it's vegan. The fact that I'm most mostly vegan. You know, I can't stand. I can't stand seeing people on like social media that eat meat all day and then buy vegan protein. I, I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. But hey, that's that's not my prerogative. But so I drink this protein. Generally speaking, twice a day, maybe three. Very rarely I hit three, but for sure two. Uh, my second meal of the day is oatmeal and protein. So I have one scoop of this and then post-workout, I have uh, two scoops of this. Um, so yeah, protein, protein. Put this over here for a second. Get out the camera. Um, let's mix it up with, uh, let's go with, uh, let's go with carbs. A very underrated product. Nobody buys carbs, which is good for me because it's mad cheap. Um, the reason why I take carbs is in. So uh, after I get done working out, I'm never hungry. Like I'm never hungry. I might be because only because I'll be working out hard, I might throw up at some point. Um, so I'm never really hungry. I never could get anything down. So I choose to do two things after I get done working out. I have either a light fruit, like some watermelon, a mango, something that's easy to digest, something easy that I can just put in my in my face, a red banana, something like that. But if I, but that's if I'm hungry. But generally speaking, I'm not hungry. So what I do is I have a shake. I actually uh, mix, uh, uh, when I'm bulking, making all them gains, I put two scoops of this, two scoops of protein in my body right after my shake, or right after my uh, my workout. But right now, I'm working, I'm fine-tuning my physique right now, so the only thing I do is go with one uh, one uh, scoop of uh, of carbs. This carbs cost me about $20, $20, I think, yeah, $20, um, it's 40 servings, and each scoop, you get 150 grams of calories, and you get, where's the, where's the I think it's like 50 grams of carbs. Yep, and 50 grams of carbs. Boom. That's how I do it. So, again, nobody uses this stuff. Nobody uses this stuff. This is really good. Um, or, you know, there's times where uh, when you're about to work out pretty soon, but you are kind of still hungry. I sometimes don't judge me for this. This is what I do. This is what I do. I mix this carbs with my uh, with my pre-workout because there's a lot of times where, like, when I'm, I know I got a long workout and I didn't eat before, or I get some carbs in my body due to the fact that something's going to be in my stomach a little bit. Because the last thing I do, I hate when I'm working out, is when, I, when I'm working out, try to hit those weights, and my stomach start growling. I'd be like, fuck, I don't want to do this no more because I'm hungry. So this is the cure to that as well. So I know I'm doing a rundown of regular stuff. I'm going to get to the herbs in a second, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. Um, the creatine, little creatine. Um, I got this creatine for like, no, wow, I've never said $40, about $30, uh, $30, um, I usually buy cheaper, uh, uh, creatine, honestly, it's just, I didn't feel like going, um, going to another store due to the COVID, everything's on, uh, everything's on lockdown, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, this one's really good, by the way, I, I like Chris Gathens, he's a good guy, um, but I take this, uh, creatine, uh, five milligrams, uh, five grams a day, um, so you drink it some anytime I'm drinking a shake. It might be with my protein, might be with my carbs, might be with my pre-workout. As long as I get five grams in me, I'm good to go. Um, uh, what's it called? Um, the reason why I I, uh, I take this creatine again for muscle fatigue. I hate you know you know we got especially when we're doing quarantine when we're doing more reps than we usually would due the due to the fact that we have less equipment. This helps us with that endurance. Boom. Let's get into it. Now, obviously, let's get into the pre-workout. Um, I take pre-workout every time I work out. Probably won't work out without it. Um, if you guys, if you guys cares about the supplement, please uh, watch my second to last video. Uh, this will give a breakdown on how I feel about it. Actually, the last two two episodes uh, will break down this supplement. 
uh, check that out. Uh, Pre-workout, again, I take it before I need for endurance, uh, lack of muscle fatigue, um, the caffeine, a little beta alanine, a little itchy shit. I like all of that. I need all of that before I work out. I, I can know the demons in me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, let's get into the herbs, baby. Let's get into the herbs. My favorite. All that stuff is beautiful. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get into the herbs. So now this is the portion we're going to start talking about how it's going to help our immune system. Let's get into it. Let's start off with the red ginseng. I don't see nobody using red ginseng. Y'all slacking. Um, the reason why I used to take red ginseng, I'll tell you, well, one of the reasons why I take red uh, ginseng is because I remember as a child, my dad used to always take uh, ginseng. I never really understood why, but he always took it. Um, and then, again, me, uh, that being my dad, I would take it too. You know what I'm saying? I remember sneaking into his room and taking one of these little things. They look like, let me show you. You guys haven't seen these before, because I doubt it, because y'all know what this probably is. It looks like this. It looks like this. Come with little straws right here. You drink through these little things right here. Get it all in. Uh, the purpose of red ginseng, or reason why I take red ginseng, uh, two things. One is good for the brain. We out here studying all the time, reading all these books, we want to make sure our brains functioning properly. Uh, also good for with blood flow. Oh, I forgot one more thing in my. I'm about to get one more thing in my room. Uh, one more herb, but uh, it's good for blood flow, good circulation, and also it's good again when you try to get those pumps in the pre workout with the uh, with the uh, with the green the green ginseng. Make that blood you hey, you be doing one second, your arm about to uh, blow up because all that uh, all that blood flow is working the way it's supposed to. All those nutrients going through the body the way it's supposed to. Um, also, any guys out there with broken penises, this helps her <laughs> erectile dysfunction. Uh, I ain't saying I don't use it for that stuff. You know what I mean? I don't think black people have that problem. But whatever. Uh, but if you need it, that's what you definitely can rock with that. Um, so that's why I take that. So again, blood flow is very important when it comes to make sure we get our, the, uh, the the muscles working the way it's supposed to and uh, also good proper circulation. All right. Let's get into the elderberry. Let's go with the elderberry. That scissor. Sipping on some scissor. Sip, sip, sipping on some si Y'all don't even know about that stuff. Uh, dang, I feel kind of old on that one. Elderberry. It's an immune system booster. Uh, when, you're, when you're starting to feel some type of cold or something like that, um, this one you to start taking. You hear that? I'm going to take this in a second, actually. Um, so, uh, elderberry. That's how much I cost to pay, pay for the... Um, I did. Uh, LG, uh, oh, ginseng. Sorry, I forgot. Ginseng. 16 bucks. I got this at, uh, at Sprouts. Uh, back to elderberry. So, it's good for the immune system. Again, when this cold is going around, like going around... A lot of us is probably going to get it if we didn't already have it already, but we need to have the, the, the right nutrients in our body to help fight it off as fast as possible. Or for, for we could treat this uh, this virus as a minor cold, not a minor cold, but um, turn that, that serious, uh, serious flu into a minor flu by taking some of this algae berry, at least if it even gets inside our body. Um, I take about uh, one tablespoon to two tablespoons at a time. So, like, when I'm just maintaining or, like, I, my body is feeling fire, I'm not feeling no sickness or nothing, I'll just take one. But, again, if I feel like a cold is coming on, I knock out two tablespoons a day. Um, I split it up in half because um, I don't really like the way it tastes, honestly. And, um, yeah, so I'll have it in the morning time and I have it maybe midday or before I go to bed. That's when I take it. Very good for the immune system. Boost that immune system. Boom. So, I might just take two of those a day. I'm not sure if I got a cold or I just got... Might be allergies. I don't know. But we're going to kick that bitch as soon as possible. We ain't playing out here. All right. So now we got that. Let's go into the black seed oil. Right now, I have another, another, uh, another bottle in the cabinet. Uh, black seed oil. Um, black seed oil pretty much does everything. Um, like they found this in, in King. I think it was King Tut's tomb. Um, that's how long ago people have been rocking with this. Um, anything that's black is good for the body. I promise you. <laughs> so uh, black seed oil. So it's good for the skin. It fights off cancers, and then especially us being African American, we tend to lead when it comes to cancer. Uh, so taking this fights off cancer cells is good for the liver. It pretty much does everything. It's like a one stop shop. Um, also, that's, that's that's the reason why I take it. These these are very important to me. As these like like these, I'm, I'm never out of this. I promise you. That. I might meet, I might slack off on a little bit of this, whatever. But I am never out of black seed oil. Never. Good for the skin. You see my skin looking pretty good. You know what I'm saying? It's good for that. It's good for that too. So, <clears throat> um, flat seed. Uh, I just want to make sure I get my flats. It's good for fats. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing too crazy. Let's get into this one. The brain booster. The brain booster. I don't know if I told you that, that the red, the, uh, the red ginseng is good for brain, for the brain too. But I take some supplement that's for the brain as well. Another one. So, um, 
I wouldn't say this is this one exactly is my 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 go to one for uh, brain function. Okay, again, you know how you want to study, but you never feel like it. You feel cloudy. All those things happen sometimes when you're when you're studying, or just in general throughout the day, you'd be like. Oh, what's that one thing? It's the tip of my tongue. You don't remember what it is? It's because you have a foggy brain, and I take supplements to help with that. Um, this one's decent. I recently purchased maybe um, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. It does pretty good. Um, it's not what I thought it was, so I wouldn't definitely, re definitely recommend this one, but I want you guys to take something that's good for the brain, because that's the most strongest thing we have right now. Um, boom. I, I paid $20 on Amazon for this. Uh, I take two a day. Uh, I take a, I take it on an empty stomach. So, like generally speaking, I would take this thirty minutes before I drink my coffee, get my mind right, so I get that little kick for. So now I'm actually ready to focus on studying. Uh, boom! Let's get into it. We ain't done yet, baby. We ain't done yet. Y'all know what this says. Oh, 20s out there. I know it's past yesterday. I did nothing. Um, but I take uh, some form of CBD. CBD is good for breaking inflammation. It's actually good for the, uh, it's good for relaxing the body. I d tend to take this after I get done working out. So I'll have a, like, before I go to bed, I do some sort of reading or I, I for sure write in my journal. And what I do is I put a little CBD and uh, droplets in there and then uh, in my tea and just sit back and relax pretty much. You know what I mean? I uh, drink the tea before I even, before I take a shower. You know what I mean? I like to feel nice and relaxed. So when I get in my bed, I go to do one of these and be knocked out. Uh, so, good, like I said, good for inflammation. Good for inflammation. Boom. Especially like uh, when I when I tore my rotator cuff, I was using a lot of CBD to prevent the pain because my stuff was torn the hell up and I couldn't I couldn't get comfortable. But as soon as I take some CBD, and let my muscles relax, I was good to go. Boom. Now everybody know about this. Everybody know about this. Everybody know about this. I'm gonna show it right here. The blacks, I'm not the blacks, the bladder racks and the sea moss. Um, I bought the liquid sea moss. It tastes terrible. I didn't like it. Um. So I actually stopped doing it. I, I, I bought it and it was sitting in the refrigerator because it tastes hella nasty. And then I hate when I mix like a, something that tastes nasty with something that tastes good, like a juice. I used to mix my my bladder uh, my sea moss and bladder racks with juice, and it would like ruin the juice. So I was like, yo, just give me the give me the capsules. Boom. So again, <clears throat> we want to make sure our body has the proper minerals. This one has the right the right minerals. It's also good for lungs. Uh, people like me that has asthma, and then we do know the COVID affects the the, uh, the respiratory system. This is good for that. Uh, also, the um, the black sea oil is good for that as well. So that's that's pretty much all I got. Oh, I think I I, spent, I, I paid twenty five dollars on Amazon for this. Um, I used to, like so I used to go to this other store before in uh, in Manteca that has it, but again I I really didn't like the um the uh the taste. So I was like, give me the pills, and uh, I hate running out of something. So like before uh uh, uh as uh, as I run out of that, I ordered this from Amazon. So all this all ties in together to make my body function as best as it possibly can. Um, I'm also missing one more thing. Um, I don't feel like getting up and getting it. I actually have uh, what's it called? Uh, Oh uh, shoot! What is that? I just I I got it. I got it. I almost I was tripping. Uh, ashwagandha tea. Um, so this is another thing I I said I mentioned earlier about me taking tea. This is the tea I drink it with before I go to bed. When I put the CBD, this is the tea I take. Um, I also mix like I make like I I because uh, this right here, let me show you. It's like it's like sticks. Let me, you. Let me just see this. It's like sticks. Like it's not like it's not like 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 that cheap ass Lipton tea. This is like real real good tea right here. Um, so what I do is I get like a regular green t uh, gr uh, green tea bags and then I put this in there and drop the CBD in there. So now the purpose of the ashwagandha tea, ashwagandha is uh, the white blood cells. Those make sure them shits are strong. We got again we gotta fight off the the, the, the viruses that's coming out here, the new ones that they be making out here in these streets. You know what I'm saying? So. And this cost me twenty five dollars. This stuff lasts forever, forever. Like I, I honestly had this for maybe I won't say a year, but it's it's up there. It's 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 up there. It's up there. Um, so yeah, that's all I've taken. Again, these things will all work for anybody who's looking to gain weight and lose weight. Um, it all depends on how much you're taking. Um, I think every household should have these things. Um, like when my when my nephews are here, I'd be like, "Yo, drink you some of that algae berry one time, young buck." I like because again it worked for any age. 
my uh, my brother that I work out with, every time I see him, before he work out, I'm like, yo, make sure you got your pre-workout in, you make sure you got your blah, 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 blah. Uh, with my mom, she has an illness. It pretty much the summer, I can't think of the name, but some of the illness, uh, her body fights her white blood cells. So I make sure she's taking her black seal and make sure take make sure she's taking all this stuff too. To make sure her body's functioning well. You know what I'm saying? So this is this is universal for anybody and everybody. Um so yeah. If you're looking to get on that level, get on that stack. Uh don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like and share all that good stuff. I'm out.